and because soldiers have been dying because of our oil addictions over in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we've got to stop it. We've got to do something about that. And we can do something about that by stopping this pipeline. It's our oil dependencies that have put us so very, very vulnerable over there. Do you know, and most people probably don't realize this, that over a thousand American lives have been lost in Iraq and Afghanistan moving fuel through the combat zone. And I know because I was the guy that working for General Petraeus as a senior logistician in Iraq, I was the guy that was running most of those convoys. Perhaps 20, 22 a day. Each one with 17 trucks, each one with 150 troops protecting them. Probably 3,500 Americans have died from IEDs because over there driving those roads, the most dangerous roads in the world. We are wasting billions of dollars over there with our, with our energy dependencies over there, all driven by our oil addiction. And we got to stop that. Do you know that perhaps $20 billion a year is being spent just providing the energy for air conditioning in Iraq and Afghanistan? $20 billion. Think of the good that we could do with that money. Think what we could do with that. Now, DOD talks about taking $100 billion off the plate. A great way to start is reduce our oil dependency. But what, why soldiers like me are also concerned is who do you think is funding our enemies? What do you, exactly, we're funding both sides of the war. We provide a billion dollars a day to our enemy, and what are they doing? They're taking a lot of that money, they're giving it to the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, and, Al and they're building bombs to kill us, kill American soldiers, and they're successful. And we've got to stop that. We can absolutely do that. And we need to develop green technologies to reduce our dependencies, to get those trucks off the road, and save American lives. Those green technologies, the green technologies we developed, we can look at Afghanistan as an operational energy testbed for our nation. We can do things over there that take trucks off the road, that save lives, that bring the troops home sooner, that end the war sooner, and then exploit those technologies here to take on the greatest threat to our national security, which is our over-reliance on foreign oil. Are you with me on that? And finally, as a soldier, we talk about CO2 emissions and climate change. And the, the pipeline will contribute to that. It will keep us doing the same things we've been doing for 25 years. Okay? It will set back the clock for clean energy development at least two decades. It will ensure that American lives keep getting shed over there trying to protect those fuel lines. And we've got to do something about that. And we have an opportunity to use soldiers and veterans like me to help further this country, develop clean energy, reduce our CO2 emissions, reduce global instability, and bring our, our troops back home. I, I think you're with me on that one, right? Okay. Thank you. I just want to conclude, this really comes down to this. CO2 emissions, clean water, a green economy, and American blood. Stop this pipeline now!